Hey guys, good morning. This is Gloria, and in today's video, I am going to do my 13th card of the Valentine's Day series. Now, guys, I don't know if you got this cartridge, but if you don't, I suggest you go out and get it. You could get it on Walmart.com, and if they don't have it on Walmart.com, you could get it on Cricut.com. And if you know somebody that's a Cricut Circle member, let them get it for you because on top of that, you get 10% off, okay, guys? So, I got to say, this card is going to be adorable. I just love it. So... This is the cartridge that I'm using today, and this is the paper that I'm using. I'm using this color pink, and then I'm using uh, You and Me paper stack from Hobby Lobby. And this paper stack is adorable, and this is the paper pattern that I'm using today. Okay, so let's get started. My card base is going to be a 5.5 by 5.5, and, and it's a white card stock. And there it goes. Let me kind of straighten out my camera a little bit. It's not even my camera, it's my mat. Okay. And for some reason, it don't seem like it's light enough. But I got the window open. I got three lights on. And it still don't seem like it's light enough. Well, anyway. This is our card base. It's five and a half. My five and a half square card and I am using three different pattern papers or three different papers for layering okay my first paper but before I do the front let's do the inside guys okay so what I did I have a piece of that heart pattern paper so I'm gonna layer this down right there then I got a piece of that pink paral paralyzed paper and it's gonna layer right there then I end up cutting out some hearts with my heart punch and I cut them out of the glitter paper that I'm doing and it's going to lay right in between them just like that, okay? So let me adhere this all together and then we can finish doing what we was doing. I actually wanted a bigger part of the pink and then just a smaller part of the pattern paper but I cut the pink part too short so I decided well I'll just do it the other way around you know instead of waste paper always try to do it oh the other way around okay let me make sure I'm in frame and if it's not with my lamp okay so I'm in frame Sorry, guys. Okay, so I'm going to layer this down. And it's going to look just like that. Now, I'm going to take the pink part. And the reason why is because this pink part is going to be where my sentiment is. You can't stamp the sentiment on here because it's glitter paper. Plus, it already has a pattern on it. So, it wouldn't go through very well. I usually stamp on regular paper when it's just plain. So I'm going to leave like a small little border on the top. And there we go. Now, I just got to check something really quick, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Now I'm gonna. I already cut out the hearts with my stamp, with with my heart punch from Recollections. And what I did, I got a piece of glitter paper on the top, on the bottom, then a piece of this pink paper on top, and then I put glitter hearts around it to give it like a border. So let me adhere that down. And I'm still waiting for my uh, my creative time with Emma stuff. It's been, it's going to be a little over two weeks I've been waiting. But, you know, with everything 
that you do, you have to wait. So with patience is a virtue. I could tell you that much. And um, that's why yesterday I ended up putting a birthday card because I don't want to use too much of my Valentine's Day. And, you know, I haven't even got my stuff in yet. So there goes the front. The inside, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's stamp something. Now I'm going to use my January Stamp of the Month Peachy King Stamps. And the one I'm going to use is, use is Happy Valentine's Day with a Heart. And that is so stinking cute. So here it goes. So I'm going to go, I'm going to ink it up. gonna layer it right here in the middle let me make sure it's in the middle and apply pretty much not too much pressure because you don't want to blur it out oh that looks really good okay so I got that done Okay, so that's the inside, but before I do that, I want to do something else. I have my Copic marker, and I just own two of these. I own a red one, which is R29 Lipstick Red, and I own an orange one for, you know, Halloween. And I wanted to get into Copics, but after seeing the price of the markers, I've changed my mind. Because I could buy paper, I could buy uh, cardstock, I could buy cartridges, you know. Or I could probably buy me a brand new machine with the price that they have for the markers. And you need all different, you know, you pretty much need the whole set in order for you to blend. So guys, that's the inside of our card. Look at that font. I love that font. It's so beautiful. Okay, so let's start layering the outside. Okay, now the first pattern paper that I got is this pink. And I'm going to hear this down. Okay. Just give me a second. So let me adhere this down, if I can stop it from gluing all over the place. <laughs> oh, Sometimes I go too fast and when I do that, it tends to, everything tends to not come out the way I want it. Okay, so that looks good. Mm, not really. Be nice to me. Be so nice to me. Be super nice to me. Okay, thank you. It was really nice to me. Okay, now that looks better. Okay, so there goes our first layer. Our second layer is going to be this glitter layer. But what I end up doing, I use my spell binders. Nest abilities and I end up cutting out a small little trim and as you can see it's right here So instead of me cutting out on another piece of glitter paper since I'm gonna cover this I end up doing it right on here And then what I did with the inside of it. I didn't throw it out. I end up cutting all of my heart punches out of it So let's adhere this down
And then I've also used my Kisses and Hugs Punch from Martha Stewart. And I did a little border. And I bordered it right up on top. And I'm just going to adhere this down. Just like this. Okay, and you won't even notice that missing in the middle because guess what, guys? I got this right here that I'm layering right on top. Let me fix my camera. Don't seem like it's want to stay right. Okay, that's better. And I'm going to hit this right on top, and that's going to be our set of papers for the front of the card. Now, on my creative time with Emma, she had an addition of six different stamps and die cuts and stuff like that. And I ended up getting the whole entire set for the simple fact it was 20% off the whole entire total. And then you got free shipping. So it was cheaper for me to get it that way. Instead of, you know, spending 40, 40 something dollars, you know. And that's not coming out too good. 40 something dollars just on two, two cuts. Well, three. For the three things that I wanted. So I figured, you know... For $20 more, I can actually get the whole entire set. So that's what I did. Okay, guys. There it goes. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to add it right to the middle. And I'm going to use my zip two-way. And I'm going to see how fast I can go. But before I do that, let me do this outside on my craft mat so I won't mess up my mat anymore. And my camera is acting up this morning. I hope that that's all right. You guys can still see. Okay. So let me do this on my craft mat so I don't glue up. I already, I got this mat already filthy. And it's driving me crazy, crazy. If you ladies don't know, it's driving me crazy. So, I guess this weekend I'm going to end up taking it and cleaning it. And I might do a couple of my Cricut mats too. To kind of renew them. Clean my Cricut mats and restick them. I use the, to restick my mats, I use the Scotch Repositional Glue Stick. And I think I've used the zip two uh two way and I used the spray adhesive tacky over and over and for some reason the glue stick lasts much much longer. Okay. So where is my mm. I can have it right in front of me guys and I won't even see it. Okay, I don't see it, but that's alright. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to adhere this down here. Try to put it in the middle. Okay, so that's going to be like a little trim going around. Now... For my image, I end up cutting out in the teddy bear parade the cupid. And here we go, guys. And this teddy bear came out so stinking cute. I thought it was so. Let me focus it. You don't want to focus? There it goes. It came out so cute. And what I did, I used some glossy accents. And um, 
to do the eyes and the nose. And if you can see, and I did the ears and the tummy too. And it came out so stinking cute. So, and the eyes that I used were from Peachy King. Now guys, Peachy King got a new stamp, face stamp assortment set. Okay? And they are amazing. So you guys need to go and get them because it is the Teddy Bear Assortment Pack. And look at how adorable the faces are. Oh my god. Look at this one. That one is so cute. And look at that one. Look at how beautiful she is. And this is the one that I used. And then you have this one. And look at the ang the. It looks so sad or mad. And then this one looks so sad. They were so cute, guys. Oh, my God. I fell in love with it. It just came out. So, go over to PeachyKingStamps.com and order yours, okay? They're $25 plus shipping, of course. And they are amazing. And you get different varieties. You get different sizes. And six different faces, you know? And then you get two of the big ones instead of just one. So go over and t make your order because these are adorable. Okay, guys? Okay, so let's get back to the card because I could talk about PG King stamps all day. Especially the face assortment for the teddy bears. Oh, my God. Okay, so I ended up cutting her out at 3.33. And what I did over here, they have, when you cut out the trim, they have... Uh, the hearts that come out. So what I did with the hearts was I made her a little train on the bottom of her dress. Then I put a heart up here like, you know, she's having a pin to hold her dress up. And that's what I did. So I'm going to layer her right here. And I already got her on some foam dots. So let me take that off. Oh my God, I'm so happy I got this set. This set of faces is adorable. Kathy and David from Peachy King Stamps, they are amazing. I'm so glad. I've never seen no other company that does face stamps. At, at least not like theirs. Okay. Now that looks good. That looks like it's right in the middle. Okay, I'm going to press down. And there we go. Now, I end up cutting out these hearts with my heart punch of course from recollections and I'm just gonna add, layer it around I'm just gonna pop them up going all the way around and they aren't foam dots so they kind of popped up And they're going all the way around just like they're showering yourself. Okay, now I end up already cutting out my trim, my, uh, my sign. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some quick dry since I got this on glitter paper. So it can adhere because it won't adhere. And I just noticed that I didn't do this with this pattern paper. It's probably going to lift up. Yeah. I might have to do that after the video. Excuse me, guys. Okay, now, for the sentiment that I'm using, I'm using the Scrappy Mom set Love Notes. And the one I'm using is Sprinkled with Love. Because you see the hearts going around, they sprink she's sprinkling love around. And since she's a Cupid, Cupid always sprinkles some love, which is amazing, you know. Love is a good thing to have. Whether you love your cat, your dog... 
your son, your daughter, your niece, it don't matter. As long as you have some love in your life, it is such a good thing. And you know, if you don't have no one to love, I'm pretty sure people love you. So, don't be alarmed, okay guys? Because I unfortunately was not never always loved. I've been with my husband for 14 years. And um, he's an amazing, amazing man. And I love him to death. Okay, guys, so I'm going to stamp this. Let me stamp it in front of the camera so you can see. Okay. Okay, sprinkled with love. Then I also have a little heart punch. Not a punch, but a heart stamp. And I want to put it on the side over here. Okay, so. And I think, do I have enough room? Yes. Or should I do it on this side? No, I'll do it on this side. Okay. Now I'm also going to use my Copic marker and I'm going to color in the hearts. Okay. Now all I'm going to do now with that is let me close my ink and I'm just going to layer this down and let me unfocus it from it being so wide. And guys, you know, I am open to any suggestions. Please be my guest. Leave me a comment. Suggest something, you know. If I have it, I will definitely do it. Um, I like all your comments. And, you know, they, they inspire me, you know. They, they make me want to get in my craft room every day after work. Or before work. Or matter of fact, every day before work. Early in the morning and do this, you know. Sometimes I try to come up with the idea the night before. So when I do it in the morning, it's a little bit more easier. Okay, and... I don't know if that's, like, right in the middle. And that looks good. Okay, guys, well, there goes my card. There goes the inside, which it says, Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, and there goes the outside of my card. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day, your busy schedule, to watch my videos and comment, and word of mouth spread me around YouTube, guys. Thank you so much, and you guys have a blessed day. Bye now.